Hello YouTube and welcome to part two of the marble machine build out of popsicle sticks. Ran into a, a problem and it was my fault and I'm going to expose that right now. Now I was fine with the size of this thing because it was allowing the marbles, as you can hear, go all the way through. But it didn't dawn on me till I had this thought and went outside to the garage where I've got a whole bunch of these marbles saved up. Uh, and these were from a batch that were more of a standard marble. And I got the, these, which are more of a novelty item. And come to find out that uh, for marble players, uh, there is a standard size, which is a 5 8 inch. And if you have a board game, then it would be uh, 9 16 So if you look at this under here, you could tell that's pretty close to 5 8 So to get a more scientific reading, we can see, get that pinned in there. It's less than 5 8 quite a bit less. So this, that will work fine. These that are going through are 0 0.661. So this is just under 5 eighths of an inch, which would be 0 0.625. If you look at the marbles over here, they all look pretty close to the same size, uh, working from the colored one here across. And every one of these will not go through. Let me show you. Okay, this big green one here. It is 0.647, and this is how it goes through. It doesn't even begin to go through. So working my way back to these, they, they all are different sizes, and it, you get a close tolerance and one will go through, and you get a non-close tolerance, and it just jams up in the middle. So I've got to rebuild this, and I've got an idea how I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm going to rebuild it with a stick in between these. And I think that will be more than enough to make it uh, closer to square. And then it will remove the tolerance issue that I'm faced with right now as well. So here we go with a redesign of the marble list. And more work continues on cool thing about clamps they help me hold it together okay quick explanation here I still had enough warpage so that at the top that you could see that uh, these things were bowed in a little bit so I put the weight down here to press the sides out and then used heavy-duty clamps with a lot of glue to make the cross beam across the top I had intended to put a cross beam up there anyway and also uh, I think I didn't explain that I'm going to have a noisemaker. I wanted to make a drum, but I don't know if I can bend that. So I went ahead and started gluing while I had the time uh, another drum piece. And then it just can't have enough clamps. I have to sit and wait for these things here to dry before I can move on. And these things here to dry. So sitting around and waiting is awful. Another thing I forgot to mention was that... Uh, these things are a little bit rough and bumpy, bumpy and stuff, so I've been sanding it down 
Um, this one here had this ridge along here that was a little bit too tall. And uh, so I don't want the marbles to get stuck on here at all. But doing this indoors, wow, it really made, it made a lot of dust. So I might have to finish sanding out in the garage. So by tomorrow, this will be strong enough to take apart. And then this thing here, like the last one, it's a challenge to hold these pieces together and then get clamps on them as soon as you can. This used to get stuck in the other one, so let's see how we do here. I don't want to drop this. Perfect. Slides right through. Cut the edges off on both sides of this so that I'd have a flat surface in order to mount this thing. It's got to have enough height so that the uh, marble lift uh, lever can operate underneath there. And uh, it's going to be much like this, only a lot taller and a little bit wider. So I've got all these stacks going together now, as you can see here, and I'm going to have to build those stacks up to about maybe three inches or so because this thing has to be off the ground and uh, yet be accessible for the action lever underneath there. So I've got some work to do here. I've come up with an idea on how I'm going to uh, stop the ball from falling back out and block it, blocking it in there. Okay, this is the end of the day for me and I've got just about two inches, just a, a hair under two inches. Uh, 24 sticks make two inches so I'm going to have this when it's all glued up just like the corners over there uh, I need a good inch for a lever action okay these things are getting large and they're still not complete that's uh, 16 so when I put the last part of eight on here uh, I'm going to have to clamp it with my big one <laughs> if I'm going to go any bigger than this, I'm going to have to get a bar clamp out. I've decided that I need to cut these fins off because I need the flat sides like I have down here. I need it all the way up and down the run in order to glue the marble run to the side of this because this is one of the corners. <laughs> okay, back in the house now, I began... Uh, gluing together the runners. While in the garage, I not only cut off these edges that were sticking out here, I sanded them down as well so that I'd have a good flat spot to glue on. And the things that this, these stands that are going to hold up the marble lift, as you can see, I sanded them down as well. So it's rough there and now it's nice and smooth there. So uh, hopefully this will be strong enough to hold the marble lift off an inch off the plate. this glue dry overnight. I'm ready to put the other piece on and here we go. This is a big clamp. Man, that thing. Look at how wide it is. It's hard to operate. <clears throat> anyway, 
it's standing all on its own and it feels fairly solid as far as its connection to here but once I get the second one on right here it'll be there permanently the glue is stronger than the stick That was a tad tricky. I ended up having to take these pads off because it was slipping too much and I could not use two of these. So with the uh, solid connector, once I got this on uh, and squeezed it down, I released this and it went to its natural position. So I think that uh, I've got a good solid squeeze on the two angles, the vertical one and the horizontal one down below. And this will give me stability in the long run. All right, it's time for the reveal. I know this is going to hold because I had good clampage. Look at that. It's a good looking tower. Okay, if you haven't figured it out yet, the marbles are going to go in here and they're going to come out here. And then they'll disperse and go through a gate and then that's where we get to make all our tricks so this is the end of video two thanks for watching have a good day